What is up guys, Butter Something here, and in today's video, we got some massive news from Sony about the PSVR 2. They did an FAQ, pretty much blog post, on PlayStation.blog, and there is just about every question you could possibly want answered, but there are only a few that I really want to focus on today, so that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So on the left, you'll see the PSVR 1, which was 600 grams, versus the PSVR 2, which is 560 grams. That's about a 7% in weight reduction, and overall is probably going to have a more well-rounded experience and allow you to wear that headset for longer periods of time, especially because it does seem like it is more well-distributed versus the PSVR 1. Now, I just wanted to include this because my wife does wear glasses, and I know that with a lot of other headsets, it's very hard for people that do wear glasses to use VR, but it does look like they're gonna actually support a pretty good variety of glasses. They do say that unique, you know, shaped lenses may have issues, but it does seem like you are going to be able to have the glasses support in the headset right out of the box. So I did kind of expect there to be some sort of unique UI, and obviously we have not seen that yet, but it does look like you're going to have that unique in-headset UI that's not necessarily going to show on the TV, but will show inside the headset. So very cool, and I assume that that'll probably make it easier to select your games and so on, more intuitive for the VR experience. Now, there is a requirement for a TV, but this is only on initial setup. So hypothetically, if you didn't have a TV in your room and you only had a TV in your living room, you could hypothetically take your PSVR with your PlayStation 5 out to the living room, set it up, and then just set it all up in your room. And that could be essentially your TV. It also asks, do you need to have your TV on? No, you don't. You can literally just turn it off. Heck, if you want to play your game and have your, you know, your parents or your roommate want to watch something on the TV, they can do that too doesn't matter you have your own screen which is absolutely amazing so another very cool thing that i just felt like i needed to add in here is that there are 100 plus games currently in development for playstation vr 2 now obviously these are going to release on other platforms but 100 games that we haven't even necessarily heard of yet so definitely something to look forward to and definitely shows that Sony and VR developers are very excited about the technology that we are about to get our hands on on the 22nd. Now for this last one, I really feel like Sony had some certain people's backs uh, when it came to this decision. And all I wanna say about it is if you know, you know. That being said, this is the end of the video. I wanna thank you all for watching. My name is Butter Something. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button. If this is your third or fourth time here, think about pressing that subscribe button down below. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.